три. Я Hey foodies, what's up? We hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday so far. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that time of the week again. It's foodie Friday. Yep, it's a rainy day today. Hindi naman sobrang rainy. Sakto lang. Saktong ulambon lang. Oo, ulambon. Okay, so where are we headed for today? We're going to Makati, always and forever. Yeah. Pero ko nun, ang daming masasarap na pagkain sa Makati. Well, I think it's in the city kasi it's it's the most... Why? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I think kasi it's really the city center. Eh. Yeah. So, yung diversity ng food at yung amount of restaurants really plentiful mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the restaurant that we're going to today is actually not new it's, not it's new. Uh, been in the F&B business and uh, it's been actually one of the most popular, popular and famous Filipino restaurants uh -huh. in the city of course we are talking about none other than chef JP Anglo's restaurant Sarsa <laughs> Actually, we're planning to feature this now before. Before pa. Pero yun nga, they closed for renovation. Hindi, eh, siya nga, Earth Comedy namin tinitignan sa Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Naligarenovate pala sila. So, we're very, very excited to try it out today. And we are also viewers of his channel. Yes, Hi, Chef man. Japes. We love your channel. Kakapanood lang namin <laughs> nung collab yun yung Ninong Rai. <laughs> oh, ang sarap-sarap nung niluto nila. Yeah. Sobra. Yes, we're, we're actually huge fans of... Chef Japes and especially his um, movement mm -hmm. called Filipino Food Forward. Mm -hmm. So he's been doing a lot for the Filipino food industry. So yeah. Chef Japes, Hello, saludo Chef kami Japes. sa you. Salamat sa inspiration at salamat sa sa masarap na pagkain. Sa masarap na pagkain na hinahandog mo sa. Atin. Okay, so we just arrived and we're parked here at uh, Rada Street. Rada, actually, you see si Rada. Yes, you see Rada is just right in front of. Uh, Sarsa, this street is just packed with such good food. Good food. So we're still waiting for our food because mm -hmm. it's not ready. ready. And uh, while waiting for our food, we think it's time to thank our official mobility partner, Toyota. If you're wondering why we're different car namin today, that's mm -hmm. because we are not using the FSF Mobile today because mm -hmm. our friends from Toyota, our official mobility partner, lent us this Toyota, Toyota Race. Race. It's our first time uh, trying it out. Uh -huh. Well, I often see it on the road though. Yeah. Like, I, I often see it because it's so loud ng colors ng Race. Yeah, very colorful, very ano, talagang hip. Hip, funky. And, uh, Young. There's a pop of color <laughs> in some mga, some mga ano niya, yeah. color variants. The one we got actually is like a bright red. One. Yeah, a bright red. Very one. front seat foodie car. Very on brand. From the outside, kasi when you see the rays, it's small. And usually, when um, you see small cars, ang um, immediate assumption mo it's underpowered. But I was pleasantly surprised because ang lakas ng hatak niya. Even though the engine is a 1.0 engine, it is actually a uh, turbocharged engine so for its small size the engine is actually quite powerful ako naman from a passenger's perspective since my driver's perspective akala ko it's very masikip inside yung interior niya very masikip but when i actually went inside the car sat down and put my stuff in the trunk it's spacious, ah. Yeah. It's maluwag. Tsaka, yung hindi, hindi siya bitin yung space. Hindi yung parang feeling mo naka-crimpled ka sa loob. Yeah. Yung ganun. Maluwag so, siya. And the infotainment system is pretty impressive for like a 
small car. It's a 9 inch monitor and it also has everything Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, everything really. It's time for you to go down now and get the food. Yeah, so now is uh, the time to go down and get some Filipino food goodness from Sarsa. Let's go. I am back and I have with me food from Sarsa. Ah, medyo lumakas yung ulan, oh, guys. Oh, medyo ang lala ng ulan uh, while... We were supposed to... Uh, we were actually parked na sa street, pero ang lakas ng ulan. And alam nyo naman, audio problems pagka umuulan. As usual, we are gonna unbox or unpack our food and disinfect. Yes. Alright guys, we now have our food in front of us. Mm -hmm. and, Super um, natatakam na ako. Oh. Yeah, so far first impressions parang medyo kakaiba yung mga pag-prepare ng ibang mga right? dishes na it's, very familiar yeah. sa atin. Pero may iba sa pagka-prepare niya. Yeah, alam mong ano, nilagyan talaga ng twist. Yeah, tagline makes sense now yung hashtag. Filipino food forward because there's they're reinventing they're some They're innovating of the, it. Yeah, they're innovating the dishes that we know of. We ordered kansi. We ordered their crab. famous crab tortang talong. And then the one na kausap namin sa um, restaurant sabi we have to order the kare kare daw mm -hmm. kasi kakaiba daw yung kare kare. Yes. So I'm really looking forward. We also ordered their three way sisig. Mm -hmm. And then we also have their famous chicken in a sal. And for dessert, we also have the piaya. Uh, yung piaya na favorite to favorite ni Cal. Yeah, so tingnan natin piaya. kung Let's see if, mas rep uh, din yung piaya nila. Meron ding twist yung piaya nila. Tingnan so. natin kung babalik-balikan mo para yung yeah. sa balay na. <laughs> I believe Chef Japes is from there. Okay. Halata naman sa mga best sellers nila. Like, kunyari, the chicken in a sal. Na mga recipe doon yun. I'm super, super excited. We're both excited to finally taste the creations of Chef Japes. Finally. Okay, time to eat. Time to eat. Alright. We're gonna be starting with the crab torta. By the way, guys, their packaging is on point. Yeah, ang ganda ng packaging nila. Like, hindi kami nahirapan mag-unpack, hindi kami nahirapan mag-assemble kasi ang efficient tong packaging nila. So, ito, isa sa mga signature dishes nila. Arguably, I think this is the most popular one. Yeah, yeah. Parang isa to sa mga pinakamasasarap daw nila. Obviously, it's a tortang talong. Uh -huh. Pero you could see crab meat. You could see a lot of vegetables. Chopped onions. There is a slice of tomato that's grilled here. Like, sa bahay, kunyari walang ulam. Tapos tortang sabi, talong. may talong pa dyan. Sige, torta mo na lang. Ganun yeah. ako. Like, and then ketchup. So, I'm it's really simple, intrigued. Eh. Yeah. Kasi ang daming nangyayari dito. Okay. And also, it comes with ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. Maybe kasi, it's homemade. Or maybe it's bango, a bit eh, spicy. Oo, oh, baka may pagkaganan. Parang... Hindi ko alam kung banana ketchup siya. Sure. Let's try it first without. Without the ketchup. Without the ketchup. Crab meat. Get some of the crab meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm, mm -hmm. bango oh, ko. Grabe yung tamang ko. Cheers. One, One two, two, three. Mmm. Mm. There's a bit of, I think, salted egg in there. Mmm. I did not expect that. Ang sarap. Sarap. Wow. wow. It's creamy. Oily. Ang sarap ng pag-oily yeah. niya. Oh. Talagang pinrito to perfection. Pinrito Let's add some of the ketchup. Okay, babe. I think talagang dapat meron talagang ketchup. May talaga ketchup talaga siya. Ibuos ko na? Not so much. Okay. Let's, Let's try, try it again. with ketchup. One, two, three. Mmm. Kailangan may ketchup talaga. Yeah. Ang sarap ng egg, no? Ang sarap! Oh my gosh. To be honest, dati when I was a kid, hindi ako masyadong fan ng tortang talong. Talaga? Kasi Pabili hindi ako magulay nung bata ako. Ang sarap-sarap kaya ng Pero feeling ko, kung ganito yung tortang talong ko nung bata ako, siguro araw-araw ko kakainin to. So, tita, ayaw ni Kali yung tortang talong mo. Hindi. Yeah, masarap naman yung tortang talong. Pero syempre, na-appreciate ko na siya nung pagtanda ko na. Mmm. Ako, nung bata ako, may nilil ako sa duyo, sa tortang talong, sa kangkong. Kasi naalala ko, yung childhood house namin, katabi niya, parang nagbibenta ng ulam palagi. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Tapos, yung kapag yung walang luto sa bahay, walang, walang ulam, ang pangalan nung ano niya, yung katabi namin karinderya, Mang Paul. Mang Paul. Mm. So, bili ka na lang din sa Mang Paul yung sinasabi kay Ate Merli, yung helper namin. So, bibili siya. Tapos, kapag wala akong type na ulam, tortang talong is the key talaga. Ah, talaga? Yes. So, staple food mo siya? Yes. Ano, I grew up with it. So, as a tortang talong master, how is, what I is, love how is this for you? Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a okay, tortang guys. talong, it's a tortang talong 2.0 for me, grabe. Mang Paul, maganto ka oh, sarap po. Oh. <laughs> Yan yun nun. Hmm, naubos namin, grabe. And the crab isn't really that overwhelming. It's really parang used as more like a topping rather than it being infused. Ang ganda ng balance ng flavors. Paano kaya pagtatay mo si, si Chef J? Sarap ng baon mo araw-araw sa school. Sarap ng oo. Oh, oh, ganda. Ano ito yung totang talong mo? Totang talong nyo sa bahay? <laughs> Wild. Chef Japes, two thumbs up for your tortang talong. I agree na talagang ito, babalik-balikan. Yes. So, Tsaka hindi siya nakakasawa. Yeah, malamang. Hindi siya umay, hindi siya nakakasawa. I understand now why the regulars really like this dish in particular and why it's really popular. Damn, that's good. That's a really, really great way to start. Sarap! Yeah! Okay, now we're moving on to our next dish. Did I remember in our past episode, yung pat-pats? Yeah. It was my first time eating a bone marrow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ito. Ito. Meron Let's ulit. Give it a shot. All right. Meron ulit. Kung nakikita niyo yung bone marrow na yan, boom. Look at that bone marrow, guys. One, two. Mm. Uy. <laughs> Iba din, no? Okay. Ito ang disadvantage kapag takeout. Siyempre, hindi na siya sobrang init. Pero... Yeah. Pag na-imagine ko itong super init, tapos umuulan pa ngayon. Umuulan. Ang sarap-sarap na ito. Hold it, ha? Try that beef. One, One two, three. Ang mm. lambot. Ang sarap naman ng beef na yun. Mm, sarap. Show them, ha? Guys, so, spoon lang yung panghati ni Kali. Mm. Look at that chunk of beef na napakalambot. Mmm. Walang ka effort, effort to chew. It is time for... For what? Gabriella's second bone marrow experience. Oh my God, babe, grabe. Baka mamatay ako dyan. Bakit, babe, ah? Gabriella's second... Bone marrow experience. Para ang lala, babe. Is it safe to eat? Din ganyan ka, lala? Of course. One, two... Para ang lala, ah. No. One, here. One, two, three, four, there. One, two, three, go. Mm-hmm. 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 How's it? Grabe talaga. Mm. Look at that, guys. Ang sarap naman yan. Look at that. Dang, meron pa ba? Ang sarap. Oh. Grabe, creamy. So sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ang kansi ay parang sinigang na bulalo. Yun exactly. Maasim na bulalo. Yun exactly yung description niya. Last serving ng ano, bone marrow. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my God. Gelatinous, decadent. Cheers. Cheers. And very sinful. Oh, the fat in there. All the flavor, all the fat, yo. Ang sarap na ito. Sarap, no? You would definitely order this. Mm-hmm. Again. I'm a kansi guy talaga eh. They also actually have this sizzling, sizzling style. So parang steak style na kansi. Ang sarap, no? It's masarap din yun. Nakaturb siya sa hot plate yeah. when you dine in. Ang maasim na may ano, creamy gravy type. Okay, for their kansi, it's actually very classic. No? Yeah. Walang, think, walang, walang arte. Mm-hmm. Like the kansi and the chicken in a sal. They mukhang, kept it. Mukhang they kept it as authentic as possible. Yeah. And speaking of chicken in a sal, ito na. Chicken in a sal. So, nakapack yung chicken oil na parang nakahalo na sa toyo. Oh my goodness. There's the chicken in a sal. Ito. Wow, sarap. Be, alam mo, garlic rice, no? Look at this, guys. Oh, wowza. 
Look at that. Oh, wow, we. Look at that beauty. Two, three, go. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. My tummy is sharp. And ang hang. Mm. Oh, wow, sharp. If I'm not mistaken, please don't get mad at me, Chef Japes. Yung medyo mas matamis na side, ang alam ko parang mas ilo-ilo style daw. Tapos yung mas garlicky, mas maalat, bakolod. Okay. But so I might is... be wrong, so please don't get mad at me. <laughs> this is medyo matamis, diba? Mm-hmm. Am I right? Tsaka lang, borot! Guys, sobrang winner nito. Mm. Mm. Ang sarap. Ang sarap ng chicken and salad nila. My goodness. Definitely a must try. Definitely, babalik ako ko to. Mm-hmm. Kakainin ko to dun, dine in, na may garlic rice, tsaka tanglad ice tea. <laughs> Ang sarap niya with chicken oil. Ay. Chef Japes, sarsa, people in the kitchen sa sarsa. Ang galing niya. That was beautiful. Beautiful! My goodness. Ang sarap nun. <laughs> Lahat masarap. Kasi yung iba natatakal, ano, lahat na nanang kinakain nyo, masarap. Sa totoo lang, guys, oo. Eh, pupunta kami dun sa mga ano eh. Talagang alam namin masarap. Sinasabing mga tao na masarap. And guys, if there is like a dish na medyo hindi kami impressed, we see it. So this is our next dish. Ito ni-recommend nung kausap namin kanina. This is their kare-kare. May twist sila na ginawa. Anong twist nila? Yung ox stripe na ginamit. They grilled it first. Sorry, wala na kasi ako lipstick. They grilled it first before they included the the kare-kare sarsa. And it came, of course, with their own bagoong. bagoong. Kailangan may bagoong. Ako, I'm gonna taste it na with bagoong. One, two, three. Mmm. Mm. Okay. It's for me, okay. It tastes like a kare kare. Yeah. Na masarap. Yeah, it's a really, really good kare kare. It's a really good kare kare. Hindi naman siya sobrang iba. Mm-hmm. Kare kare pa rin yung lasa niya. I'll try it without the sauce para mas matikman ko yung smokiness. Mm. Can I try it? If you try it without the sauce, you're gonna see the difference. Yeah, matitikman mo yung smokiness, yung pagka-grill, mm-hmm. yung ok, try it. Hindi siya yung chewy na mahirap. Yeah. Ichu. Yeah, yung kare-kare na parang diba yung... hirap ano yun. Oo. <laughs> Baba try it na with the bagoong. Ako kasi may ligaw sa bagoong, bagoong guys eh. Mmm. Wow. Sarap na. But the bagoong is... Salty. It's very salty. Mm. I think I like it better without bagoong. Mm. Or maybe the bagoong, their bagoong is too salty for me. But it's good. It's good. I love it. I like it with rice, though. For sure. Well, I'm, I'm, I like it rice. Filipino food is always better with rice. Oh, by the way, guys, I do not like peanut butter, but kare kare is an exception for me. Mm. Sarap. Winner din to. Sarap. I haven't been to the old sarsa, how it was before. Hindi ko siya natingnan. Hindi ko siya nakita. Pero ang ganda ng loob. Talaga? Ang bago. Daming halaman, tapos may parang may moped, may may bike dun sa ano. Ah, talaga? Tapos may la, parang lounge area. Mm-hmm. There's also like a, like a space there for maybe private dining. Ah. Hindi naman super private, parang semi-private. Yeah. May parang glass na nakaano. So it's nice also to visit there. Alright, so we're down to our last savory dish. This is quite an interesting one. This is what they call their three-way Sisig. Ay, um, grabe yan. Siyempre, ang sisig is best experienced on a sizzling plate. Yes, and it came with this. I think, is this mayo? Yeah, don't put muna. Okay, I'll just uh, smell it yeah. lang. Ah, uh, it's parang, parang garlic. Ah, oh, yeah, mayo. Mayo, garlic. Sa, sa, parang sa sisig, ano, sa sisig, sa sisig yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, their version of sisig, actually, tatlo siya magkakaiba. Kung different ways na, different um, ways. pagluto. One is slow braised. The other is grilled. And the last one is crunchy. Is crunchy. So, mas, mas parang para may iba't ibang texture siya. So, we don't know which is which yet. Are we gonna mix it? No. But for sure, no, 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 we're not gonna mix it. Okay. But for sure, the middle is the crunchy one. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Because it has all that crunch. Uh-huh. So yeah, let's try the one on the left first. No sauce first. Yeah, no sauce first. So, ang kapampangan sisig daw talaga. Walang mayo. Walang mayo. But of course, nung dumating na sa Manila, nagkaroon na yeah. ng ano, iba't ibang variations. Which might be either the slow braised or the grilled Ay. one. Hindi pala spring onions pala. Okay, one, one two, two. Mm, I think it's slow braised. Eh? Mm, That's the grilled one. Grilled and smoky. Eh. It's smoky. Mm. You could definitely taste the smokiness. It's mm. sarap naman ang sisig na ito. It's like a lechon vibe. Yung grilled. Ako, I'm not a fan of mayo on sisig. Hmm. Ang sarap ng grilled, no? Try natin yung kasama na itong sauce. Mm. Yummy. Sarap. <laughs> Okay, so that is definitely the grilled. We're gonna move on to the slow braised, slow which is your braised. So right, this is the more traditional version of sisig. Yung parang mama sa. Okay, one, two, two three. Mm. Mm. Ako. Yan ang sisig. Ma'am, dito ako. Wow. Tapi sa ina reaction ni Pareho sa pag. Eto yung sisig na na talagang authentic na. Dayam. Eh, dito masarap to. Mm-hmm. Eto yung Creamy. Ah, Parang sarap. melts in your mouth type of sisig. Mm. Okay, so the the slow based one is the more traditional one. Yes. Yung mas alam natin. Yeah. Okay, but okay. The smoked one is also good. Okay? It's good also, Don't get yeah. me wrong. Pero kasi, kapag sinabi mong sisig, ito yun. Ito yun eh. Yung, 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 yung slow braised. Oh, yung slow braised. Eh. Yung isa pa lechon pa pork belly feels Pork na belly vibe. Oh. Now, we're gonna try the last version the crunchy one o ito parang may mga bits of fried crunchy sobrang ang hang no ako i like it though really spicy but there's a chili there that you can bite into it ako i'm okay na thank you one two three ah mm that's good too mm-hmm. sure up good also ito yung pang beer ito yung mayat maya hahanapin mo ito tapos mm-hmm. maaadik ka let's try it with the um last one chicharon talaga siya oh shoot oh Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. What's nice is, with this dish, parang three in one siya. Yeah. Oh my god, I was about to say that. <laughs> ano guys? Oh, you try ko lang ha. Yung utak namin ni Kali, parehas na. Mmm. No, Bobs. Minsan may sasabihin pa lang ako, tapos maunahanan niya ako. Sometimes naman siya. May sasabihin pa lang, tapos unahan ko siya. This is so bad. I'm so good at the same time. Mmm. <laughs> That three way sisig is pretty good. I'm I'm wondering, paano pag hinalo-halo natin yung dalawa? Hindi iba-ibang texture. Yeah, ba? Diba? Hindi masarap din. Mm-hmm. Masarap din yun. Diba? Parang Try every bite yun. is different. Tayo natin yung mga next year na. Kasi ang dami na nating tabang na kain, bro. <laughs> I have to say, number one for me is the inasal. Inasal for you? Yes. Yeah. Inasal kasi I like how sweet it is at the same time salty and at the same time hindi siya lumalayo dun sa sa inasal taste. Yung hindi siya Authentic yung, talaga siya. Oo. Oh, oh. I would okay. definitely go back to Sarsa and would definitely order inasal in okay. an instant. Yeah. No questions. Like I would just sit down and inasal po. Okay. Number two would be the sisi. Ay! May torta pa! <laughs> Torta na lang. <laughs> Those are your two top one. Ano? Two top favorites. Two top two? <laughs> two top two one. Two top two. Those are your top two favorites. Ako, the same reversed lang. The tortas the number tortas one. The tortas may number one. See, magkali ba kasi yung pala naman unak natin. <laughs> the torta But is you know, number one. I feel friend. like the tanglad ice tea would be so good right now. Yeah, so our top two It's pretty much the same. If you're planning to go to Sarsa and you're planning to eat there for the first time, ang must try is the torta, the inasal, and the sisig. But they have a whole bunch of other, other dishes stuff. in their yeah. menu. These are just their ano daw, their best. Mga bestsellers. Pero may ibang silang bestseller. Like, for example, the kansi, sizzling kansi, I really want to try it. We have an oyster cake that I really want to try. Oh, iba din yun. For our dessert, we have piaya. Ayan! So, their piaya is thick, guys. Pagka ano, no? Pagka Filipino food game, parang kailangan lagi may pang pahimagas. Yeah. Yung piaya nila may kasamang latik. Latik is usually served with suman. This is called 
the sea salt na tikpiaya with homemade cocoa jam sauce. Yun. Yun. So, latik is cocoa jam sauce. Grabe yung may sea salt, de. Sea salt. So, sea salt ang ginamit nila. Yes. So, sea salt is more pronounced yung taste niya mm -hmm. versus uh, table salt or like iodized. Mm -hmm. So, here is the cocoa jam. Okay, let's try first the ano. Walang, pay, walang ano, cocoa jam. Wala muna. Na? Wala muna. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, kakaibib. Mm. Sarap. Very but it's different. different. Very kaka different. Kakaibib. I could taste Moscovado. Oh, na sugar. Medyo sunog and coconut. Yes. Tsaka mas, ano no, yung, like, yung sa taga, Tagaytay, mas sana siya. Manipis. Moist and manipis. And Chewy. Ito, medyo... Ito parang, this is a very merienda yes. type. Yes, parang siyang cake. Yeah. Ganun. So let's try it with the latik. Mm. I love the jam. Mm. The jam is you know, the usual cocoa jam that we know. I'm you, not sure I like this. Yeah. yeah. You like the... I can judge it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I like it. It's a bit salty. He likes the, the piaya sa Batangas or Tagaytay better. Okay, but for me, this is leaning towards merienda than, the, than a dessert. Yeah, medyo salty on the salty side siya. Tsaka nakakabusog siya. Hindi siya yung... Yung cute lang. Oo, yung siya cute lang na pang dessert. But it's good! Not terrible, but it's not um my preference. Like, you're not gonna order... You don't, you don't like this version of piaya. Yeah, yeah, it's just that tad bit's too salty for me. Mm. Oh, I Normal like it. Salt. I would definitely order this for merienda. Not for dessert. Not for dessert. No. I feel like their turon is kakaibib. Maybe. But it's hard to my... battle the turon of ate girl in the Jolly Jeep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Kahit gano'ng ka-traffic, bababa tayo. <laughs> Naturon sa mga Jolly Jeep, doon ako lumaki eh. Because I studied here in Makati. At yun lagi yung merienda Babe, ko. If the season 1 word of the day is hayop, the season 3, I've yusen, yusen, yusen. Yusen? Yusen. Yusen is the new word Babe, of the day. Stop. Cut, I have cut that. Yusen. Uh, used. <laughs> cut that. Uh, I have yusen. <laughs> nagbago ko na naman. I've used the word kakaibib in all of the episodes. Kakaibib? I don't know why. <laughs> that was a pretty good episode. As uh, always. As always. Uh, sarap ng food, ng sarsa, mm -hmm. and um, it deserves its uh, popularity. I feel like it deserves more recognition. More recognition. Pag kamayan kayong balikbayan na family, friend, perfect, perfect sila dalin doon. Ganda ng lugar. Kailangan lang may parking. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Foodie Fridays of Foodie on Fridays. Franzi Foodie. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And, if, you like uh, this video. if you like this video. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below your suggestions and your comments about this video. Thanks guys! Thanks guys! See you on the next one! Bye! Bye.